Hi everybody, happy Thursday. Happy first day of February. I have a brand new book to share with you. And this book is Three Important Jobs. It's written by Yvonne Ivinson and it's published by HarperCollins. And we wanna thank them for allowing us to share this book with you. So, are you ready to find out what this book is all about? Let's get started. Three Important Jobs. And what do we have here? We have a big wolf. Looks like talking to a little wolf. I wonder what they're talking about. Wolf Cub had three important jobs to do. She had no time to listen to the birds or sniff the morning dew. She had to be fast and focused. Big Wolf needed her help and she was determined to do her very best. Wolf Cub crept through the tall meadow grasses. Snap, she grabbed Little Mouse in her jaws. Oh dear, said the other mice. Poor Little Mouse. Little Mouse was trapped between Wolf Cub's strong, sharp teeth. She tapped and scratched her tiny claws on Wolf Cub's magnificent molars. Let me out, she shouted. But Wolf Cub didn't answer. She had to keep her mouth firmly closed so Little Mouse wouldn't escape. Little Mouse tickled Wolf Cub's tongue with her whiskers. Ha ha, hee hee. Wolf Cub tried to stop giggling. It was impossible. When Wolf Cub reached the den, Big Wolf clapped her paws with joy. Well done, Wolf Cub, she exclaimed. You found Little Mouse and brought her to me. You are such a good Wolf Cub. I don't know, Ben, do our dogs follow directions as well? Wolf Cub gently dropped Little Mouse into Big Wolf's paw. Little Mouse had never seen such a huge wolf with such huge, sharp teeth. Oh, please don't eat me, Big Wolf, she cried. I'm just a mouse. I promise you won't feel a thing, my friend, said Big Wolf. Please close your eyes and we'll go into my lovely den. Meanwhile, Wolf Cub was racing through the forest on her way to her second important job. She was heading to the sunny hill where the rabbits lived. Wolf Cub knew exactly where Floppy Rabbit was playing. Snap! She lifted him right off the ground. Oh dear, said the other rabbits. Poor Floppy Rabbit! Floppy Rabbit was sandwiched between Wolf Cub's fierce pointy teeth. He smacked his long ears against Wolf Cub's splendid canines. Let me out, he shouted. But Wolf Cub didn't answer. She had to keep her mouth firmly closed so Floppy Rabbit wouldn't escape. Floppy Rabbit tickled Wolf Cub's gums with his soft, rabbity furriness. Ha ha, hee hee, Wolf Cub tried to stop giggling. It was impossible. When Wolf Cub reached the den, Big Wolf threw her paws in the air. Good job, Wolf Cub, she exclaimed. You found Floppy Rabbit and brought him to me. You are really a very good Wolf Cub indeed. Wolf Cub carefully placed Floppy Rabbit onto Big Wolf's paw. Floppy Rabbit had never been so close to such a huge wolf with such enormous teeth. Oh, please don't eat me, Big Wolf, cried Floppy Rabbit. I'm just a rabbit. I promise you won't feel a thing, my friend, said Big Wolf. Please close your eyes and we'll go into my lovely den. Meanwhile, Wolf Cub had one last job to do. She had to fetch a sack of soft prickle bushes from Mrs. Hedgehog. She crept through the thorny hedge, careful not to wake the sleeping hoglets and, and make them grumpy. We don't like to wake anything sleeping, do we? When Wolf Cub got back to the den, she gingerly delivered the sack of prickle brushes to Big Wolf. Wonderful Wolf Cubs, exclaimed Big Wolf. You've brought me the brushes. What an excellent Wolf Cub you are. Big Wolf rubbed her huge paws together. Thank you, Wolf Cub. You've been very helpful. And now it's your turn to come inside and sit in my lovely den. What do you think is happening? What is going on in that den?
Do you have any ideas? Den. Tis chair to have your teeth cleaned too. We promise you won't feel a thing, said little mouse. Not a thing, said Floppy Rabbit. So Wolf Cub jumped up into the special chair and opened her mouth as wide as wide could be. Aha, said Big Wolf, your teeth are beautiful. Who guessed that the wolf was the dentist? Did you guess that? Wolf Cub, Fluffy Rabbit, and Little Mouse each got one of Mrs. Hedgehog's soft brushes. Then Wolf Cub showed her new friends how to brush up, down, and all around. Oh, that tickles me, said Little Mouse. Me too, said Floppy Rabbit. Ha ha, hee hee, Wolf Cub tried to stop giggling. It was impossible. Wolf Cub beamed at Big Wolf with squeaky clean teeth. Helping Big Wolf was the best job of all, but being fast and focused had made Wolf Cub suddenly very sleepy. Sweet dreams, Wolf Cub. The end. So, do you know that February is Dental Health Month? Did you know that? This is a great book to check out for Dental Health Month. And do you go to the dentist? Do you like it? Let me know on our Instagram page. I will be back next week with more brand new books to share. So until then, everybody have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.